Welcome to CSET Biology TCP. I am Mr. Wilson and today we are looking at a human and social biology paper 2016. The lesson here is of course useful for those students who are doing integrated science and biology. So let's hop right into the lesson. But before we do so, we should be reminded that we should like, share and of course subscribe. We are putting out at least one video every day and you want to be sure that you are the first to receive a copy. So when you subscribe, ensure that you click that notification bell and select all to be notified as soon as there is a new publication. Question 4 it is, and it illustrates a form of cell division in human. Now let's look at this cell division. In human, it could only be mitosis or meiosis, so we need to find out which it is. Now, at a glance, it suggests here that it is meiosis as four daughter cells produce, and we are clearly seeing a variation that is brought about by crossing over. So, we can easily up and down to say that this is meiosis. Which type sex cell or somatic cell? are produced by this process. Of course, it is going to be the sex cell. The somatic cells are produced by mitosis. However, our sex cells are produced by meiosis. So a diagram there was a diagram that represents meiosis. What is the chromosome number of a parent cell and the daughter cells? Great. The parent number here is going to be 46 for human. That's the diploid number or the full number. And for the daughter cell, it's going to be 23 as that's the haploid number. Which two types of sex chromosomes are fathers able to pass on to their offspring? That's going to be X and Y. Sonil receives a painful blow to his groin during a game. Later, he wonders why his testes are not protected inside his body. Explain to Sonil the advantage of his testes being carried outside his body. The testes are held outside of a body of course in what we call the scrotum or the scrotal sac. And this is to keep them at a lower temperature than the temperature of a body. This is, of course, ideal for the development of the sperms. Now, if the temperature becomes too low for the, scro for the sperms, what will happen is that the scrotal sac or the scrotal muscles will contract and, of course, pull the sac closer to the body, thus increasing the temperature. And this is a regulatory process which continues to happen throughout the day where these muscles will either pull the scrotal sac closer to the body or extend it to ensure that the sperms have the ideal temperature for their development. Sonil and his wife would like to have children. Outline the role that the epididymis, the seminal vesicle, and the prostate gland plays in forming semen in Sonil's body. The epididymis located in the scrotum is a site for sperm's maturation and storage. The seminal vesicles coupled with the prostate gland, they are going to secrete fluid containing nutrients and enzymes which are important for the activation of sperm's the Cooper's gland also plays a major role here. The mixture is known as seminal fluid. Uh, and it, of course, it creates a medium for the sperms to swim. Hence, these play a major role in any human having children. Sonny's wife learns that cervical cancer is common and kills many women in the Caribbean. What two measures should she take to protect herself 
from cervical cancer. The first thing she could, of course, consider being vaccinated for HPV, which is a virus that causes a cervical cancer. And the vaccine here is the Gradisil, and it is taken in three doses over a six-month period. She could also use a condom and, of course, get tested irregularly to know her status. Practice monogamy, providing she has a faithful partner. Cervical cancer is believed to be caused by sexual transmitted infection. Name one other sexual transmitted infection. Now, there are many, but we chose AIDS here. Please be reminded to like, share, and subscribe. Join us on a Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 5.05 p.m. for live classes streaming from Kingston, Jamaica. Thanks much for watching.